man, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. You got big balls who up in the building, man. Y'all already know the biggest handler, man. How you coming, you? What's the word? Big boss zoo up what you want, gang. Chilling fool. I ain't no shit, man. Cool and breezing through. You know what's going on. Man, you 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 know this is a classic. You know what I mean? Ain't First no and question. foremost, you know what I mean? Uh welcome to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. Let the folks know who you got on the couch with you. Man, you know, I got baby gutter from the six, my blood little brother. You know, he just been gone for eleven. He back out here in the field. Got old Myrtle. THF Kano, y'all already know who this is, your boy THF Lil Easy, lost me in the building, and that's just Big Handler right there to the left, man, you know, he, he be off the cameras, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the handlers in the building. Ain't no question. Zoo, how you feeling today? Shit, I'm cool, bro, I'm chilling, man, just maintaining, out the way, you already know. Yeah. I had to come sit down with my boy, man. You know, you've been on my ass for a yeah, long yeah, time, yeah, bro. Yeah, I finally yeah. made it happen for you. You seen the, uh, the no jumper lick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had we, the fans. We all seen the no jumper You had the fans lick. diving in my DM talking about this war. You hear me? Hey, that's what they was doing. <laughs> that's, 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 what, that's what they was doing. Yeah. Well, like I said, man, it's definitely a blessing. We just go get straight to it. Zoo, tell us where you from. I'm from the low end. Well, I'm originally from Cabrini Green Projects, man. But you know what I'm saying? I jumped off the porch on the low end. 46 in the, in the uh, Bronzeville area, you know what I'm saying? High Park, Bronx, like Slight High Park, Bronzeville, you know? Okay. 46, 24. Okay. 44th in Princeton, you know? I, I I migrated south when I was probably like 12, 13. Well, I really, my OG been out south since I was a youngin', since they knocked our buildings down. But, you know, I was already bad as hell in the projects, but, you know, I, I, I got my name for sure, for sure, southbound, though, you know? Right. But you grew up. Low end landlord, huh? But you grew up. Cabrini Greens. Yeah, I was I was born in, I was born in the Greens. I grew up in the Greens. I you know what I'm saying? I got a name out there too. Like I you know what I'm saying? I got a chance to get in the field, but I was just doing bad shit. Little baby kid shit, you feel me? I, I can't I came southbound when I was like a like like mid-teens. My OG always been out south, so I've been knowing all my brothers that's from out south since I was a puppy, you feel me? My grandma still stayed up north. And my OG moved southbound when they knocked our building down, you feel me? So she been out there damn there all our life, you know. No question. Uh, like you just said, baby, baby kids. Is yeah. that is that where you get the nickname, baby? <laughs> yeah. Being bad as hell. Yeah, I was baby when I was a shorty, shorty or puppy. Bad as hell, baby kids. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what yeah. was some of the just what's 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 a regular day? You know what I'm saying for for an eight year old baby. Shit, that shooting taxi cab drivers with BB guns, throwing rocks. Going in the stove, snatching shit, running up out of them. I was bad as hell on the shorty. I got man so much shit, I can't even think of it. Like, I was just doing all bad shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. You know the little dog, the little dog catching trucks and shit when they be uh, grabbing the little stray dogs and shit. I used to, you know, they, they got a little uh, community in, in the greens with the dogs that I used to be letting the dogs out the bike when I was a shorty, man. Bad as hell. Like, I'm locking the little dog cage, letting their ass hop out the truck, chasing my down the street shit. I was just bad as hell as a kid, kid man. Like yeah. that's exactly where I got the name Baby from, though. Yeah. Ain't no question. What what what, what Dirk say? You don't know who Baby is? Oh, Woodline. <laughs> Thirty pounds Baby kid. Yeah, ain't no question, man. So so but, but but tell us what it was like growing up. You know, as far as your family structure, siblings. You know, did you have both parents in the home, stuff like that? I my on, 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 you know what I'm saying. My stepfather was in my life more when he was with my mama. You know what I'm saying, like. They married. They've been married. I don't, how many? How many years they've been married? They've been married like thirty years, you know. But my father always been in my life. He was in the streets hard too, like me. So you know what I'm saying. My father always been in my life, but he wasn't with my mama. You know what I'm saying. I got both of my grandmas that stayed up north in the greens. One of my grandmas, she owned like eight buildings up there. You know what I'm saying. So she still, my father, mother still up there. You know what I'm saying. My other grandma, my mother, mother passed away in uh, October last year. Okay. She passed away while I was incarcerated, you know what I'm saying? But that's what really raised me, my mother, mother, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I was always bad as hell. Okay. You know? And what about your siblings, your brothers? Sisters? Yeah, I, we, 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 was, we was born and raised with each other. Right. For sure, for sure. You know, I, like I told you, the family I always been tight. I'd be at my OG crib out south or I'd go back to my grandma crib, just back and forth coming up as, as a young, you know what I'm saying? I got a big, I got a lot of siblings. Yeah. OG got 10 kids. Okay. Six boys, four girls. So okay. our family big as hell anyway, you know? Okay. Yeah. And, and and one of your brothers when I was doing my research is named Gutter. Yeah. And Gutter passed away. May twenty fourth, two thousand eleven. Okay. 
For sure. Uh, how old were you at that point? Uh, well, how old? Like 21? Yeah, I was like 21. Oh, uh, how old was he? I'm sorry. 17. Yeah, like 17. 17. Yeah. Okay. And, and and how did you know? How did that? How did that affect you? You know, it, it me up mentally, like physically and emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like it's something I had to cope with. Like that was my first time experiencing. Like you know what I'm saying? By me being a hard out of the family. You know, we all Muslim, or whatever. So you know what I'm saying? You got to bury them within a certain time or whatever. So uh, you know, he was in the house. The gun accidentally went off and shot him in the head or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's how he passed away. So like, wasn't nobody in my family as far as my the, the immediate family was strong enough to bathe them and wash them up and get them prepared for the services or whatever. So like that experience stuck with me for the rest of my life. Like I never experienced doing all that shit myself, but I had to get them out of the freezer at the morgue and wash the, the blood out of his, out his, out his dress and shit, put cotton swabs where the bullet hole came, the entrance in and out. Like I had to, I had to wash them up. Like I had to experience it, man. My right hand man, uh, got it. You know what I'm saying? We bathed little bro up and shit, got them together for his services or whatever. So me just experiencing that, that's when I let that thing out. Like, at the services, I had to be strong for the family. Like I still ain't, I still feel like right now to this day, I ain't mourn how I supposed to mourn, you feel me? But like, it all came up out of me that day when I had to bathe them and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't never experienced no shit like that, like up, up close and personal, seeing his brains hanging out his head, pushing the meat back in his skull and shit like that shit you know, mentally for real, like, yeah, it was deep, man. Yeah. But that's like, that, that was one of the deepest experiences I experienced up close and personal, you know what I'm saying? My, burying my little brother then, it, it was kind of hard this back then when ringtones and shit was going on, you feel me? Uh, I had that plaz running my mama, that, that plaz running my mama crazy ringtone and shit, you feel me? Now, OG I always check in with me, but I, like I knew it's like, you know how you could feel it? You know what I'm saying? I'm in the shower in our building on Ellis and shit. I'm in the shower and my phone run while I was in the shower. I had it on the sink like eight times, back to back to back to back. I wanted to jump out the shower because I ain't never knew my OG for calling me back that much, but I'm thinking in my head like, man, I'm already knowing this gotta be something serious. She's smacking my shit back to back. And as I, re as I can remember, I hurried up, jumped out the shower, and I had told Tiff, like, man, call her and see what's going on. I already got a feeling it's something bad. Like, I don't even want to get the news. So she called her. They tell, they tell us the situation. And I hurried up and hopped in the car and just rushed over there on Evans and shit to the crib where the situation happened at. And uh, it was already a crime scene. You get what I'm saying? So you know how the police be doing that shit. Like, when they put the tape up, you can't come on the crime scene. So it's like, it was kind of bogus for me because I didn't get a chance to, like, really see what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Like everything I was every time I was trying to get over the over the the, the 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 tape, they was telling me it's a crime scene. They don't care if I'm family member or not, this and that third, I keep on disobeying, I'm gonna get locked up. I end up tweaking with the police and getting locked up. They took me 51st and Wentworth. But how how I knew it was over with uh while I'm at the station, you know, they they fingerprint you, whatever the charge, the bullshit charge they put on me. Uh, the lieutenant tell him, like, man, uh, just sit him down right there by the uh, fingerprint machine, you feel me? Don't put him in the cage. So when he said that, I kind of already knew what it was already. Like, he was still in the house when I made it on the scene, but by me getting arrested and shit, when they ain't put me in the cell, when they ain't put me in lockup, the whole uh, eight hours I did in that moment, I knew what time it was. I'm steady asking them, they ain't want to tell me and shit, but I end up coming home, you feel me? I, I was so blue. I walked all the way from 51st and Wentworth all the way to the crib, to 46 and Evans. Like, mm. I ain't even calling them. I'm just walking, thinking this shit while I'm on my way to the crib. I get there, I found out what really, you know what I'm saying? Went down and shit. I had to get his brains and shit up off the wall. That shit, that shit was fucked up, bro. Like on, on the experience side, like that my OG them clothes, though, they ain't even want to look in the room for like months. What that was, like six months? Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, that shit was deep for me, though, bro. Yeah, for sure. DJ, you go crazy!